you woke up with a high fever and a sore throat. You, Philip, you nauseated and you began to feel cold. You ran to the restroom to move your bowels because of your upset stomach and it is watery. And you remember not taking a bath after. You just washed your hands and went on with your day, thinking that washing your hands is enough. Then, it hit you. You may be infected with COVID-19. You might be part of the million suffering and carrying the virus. And quite possibly a part of the million deaths. Then, what happens next? You or your family member will call the risk hospital for admission and swapping. And you wait for the results in isolation. No families, no companions. I want to help or support you in these trying times. And then finally, positives. You will be out in confinement for 14 days or more. And hope your condition will not present. Unlike those who had to be intubated for a long time. Like those who experienced low oxygen flow and more complications. Unlike the almost 1 million people who already perished. But you can definitely stop the spread of COVID. You can save lives. You can save your family. You can save yourself. Here's how. steps. We can help flatten the curve and stop the spread of the pandemic. We can help the economy to thrive again. We can see you again at school and talk and play with friends. We can, we can all, all be, be back, back to normal, normal once again. again.